Hello guys, this is Ms. Cofield and I'm here to show you guys how to use some of the programs on your iPad to sketch some of your fashion sketches using whatever croquis you choose, whether it be from your device or some pre-made ones. The programs that I like to use are Adobe Photo, uh, Adobe Draw, and Sketchbook. If you go to your um, iPad, go to self-serve. It's this icon here. Click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to give you some, um, make sure that you sign in to your left and then you're going to do to your right, you're going to see see all. So go ahead and sign in. Then go ahead and hit see all. Once you hit see all, you're going to see the programs that we're going to use for sketching. So you have Adobe Illustrator, Draw, Adobe Photoshop, Sketch, and of course you go down here you find Autodesk Sketchbook. Check those and then they'll install on your iPad. Okay, once you've done that and you start installing, make sure you go back, close that up, go back to your, your home page. And I like to use Adobe Sketch. All the programs pretty much work the same way. I just like, I've gotten familiar with Adobe Sketch. I click on it. Adobe Draw and the Sketchbook, they each have a lot different icons, but they basically work the same way. So Adobe Sketch, we're going to add a new project. As you guys can see, I have previously added projects. So I'm going to go to the far right side. Once I have it open, I'm going to go to the far right side and I'm going to press this plus sign here. Okay, once you've done that, it's going to pull up this screen which has choose a format. If you like to sketch with your iPad this way, which is the way I have the iPad here to the side, which is technically landscape, I choose portrait. That way I can sketch this way and my drawings are going to be this way. If you do not like to sketch this way and you like to sketch with your iPad this way, you're going to choose iPad, the landscape style, okay? Which changes the way your iPad looks. You can do it this way. So whatever direction you decide to sketch, that's the, the direction you're gonna choose your paper. So, um, I want to be comfortable, so I choose iPad Portrait, and it's going to send me to a blank page, as you can see here. To your left are some pencils. To your right is the sketch layering, so it helps you layers, layer those sketch, those pieces of paper so you can write on them and sketch on, draw on them. What we're going to do now is we need to add our croquis, so I'm going to do the plus sign. Once I hit the plus sign, it's going to give me two choices. I don't know if you guys can see that. The top choice is called sketch layer. Bottom choice is called image layer. There we go. Okay. Sketch layer. I was hoping it would. There you go. Once you do that, and I'm sorry if you can't see that very well. Um, you have your choice. We're going to add an image layer. So I'm going to choose the bottom, which says image layer. It's going to give me some choices. The choices are Adobe on my iPad or take photo or my files. I like to say take photo, which you can use your iPad to already pre-shoot your croquis. So what you would do is you take photo. If you choose that, take a picture of your croquis. So go ahead and do that now. Then what I'm going to do is I've already pre-taken my picture on my iPad. So once I've done that, I'm going to go and I'm going to choose on my iPad. I'm going to go to camera roll and I'm going to find the croquis I want to use. So I find the croquis that I'm going to use and I add it to my um, so I add it. As you can see, the croquis comes out crooked. It's not the direction that I like to sketch. So this is not the direction I like to sketch. So I'm going to turn that croquis around. So you take your fingers and you're going to turn your croquis. See how I did that? I'm going to turn it. Then the next thing I need to do, which is really important, once you have your croquis in the direction that you like to sketch, I've got to make sure that croquis takes up the whole entire page, that it takes up all of the space and as you can see the blue line is the whole entire space once you do that you have your image is perfect it's nice and straight you're going to go to the far right and you're going to hit done if you don't like it hit cancel and you just repeat the process so i hit done so everybody hit done and now you have 
your croquis set up to draw. On the right side, it adds image layers. This is to help you sketch layers. This is to help you add color and different things if you don't want your colors to merge together or when you erase something, you don't want it to affect the other colors, you can add your image layer that way. And I'll show you what that looks like with another student's work. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, look at the to your left, which are some tools that you can use for sketching. This is your reverse button. So if you don't like something, you can always hit reverse and it'll take it away. The top one is your pencil. The second one is like a marker. Third one is like a, a thin paintbrush. This is a thicker paintbrush, a watercolor, and also an eraser. There's a plus sign there, which then brings up this um, dialog box, which says sketch brushes. You can add all different types of things. You can add an ink pen, marker brush, watercolor brush round, watercolor brush flat. You can add whatever color you want or whatever type of brush you want. You can even do smudging, spraying, acrylic, ink marker, or pastel. This allows you to um, change those brushes and add them here, okay? Right now I'm gonna show you the pencil. With the pencil as well as all of the brushes, you can adjust the size, you can adjust the flow, and you can adjust the color. The size, you would just hold your finger down, move it to the right for increase in the thickness of the pencil, and then you can come right back down to your left, which is the thinness of that pencil. Then you have the flow. The flow changes how colored that pencil is. So you can go extremely dark where it's dark, dark, straight line. Or you can have it look more like a pencil and come back down and have the flow be very light. You can also change the color of the pencil from gray to black. You would touch the color. You can either use the color wheel, which then you can choose any color you want. And it also gives choices down here. Once you choose your color, then you would hit the plus sign because I like to keep my colors and I add them to my library and it sends it to your library. These are colors that I've already previously chosen off my color wheel. It helps keeps it together so I know what I've used, especially with skin tone. These are themes. Now, if you rather go back and look at the red themes, green themes, you can go through there and choose your color from there. The only difference is with themes, it does not allow you to add them to your library. So you have to remember what theme you used. So now let's look at, now that we've taken a look at the pencil, each one of those, you can do the same thing. You can adjust the size, you can adjust the flow, you can adjust the color for each one, including the eraser. You can adjust the size of the eraser, which would be very big, or you can get very, very tiny with the eraser. All you have to do is hold the size button and either go left, which makes it bigger, or go right, what makes it tinier. This button here is the eraser and it does the same thing. The pressure, the size, the flow. So you can adjust here instead of using your finger, you can use this to adjust it also. Whenever you need to change your brush, all you have to do is tap on the brush and it takes you back to this um, choice here. Now what I wanna do is, is I wanna start kind of uh, outlining my croaky. So I wanna start with the top part of my croquis. So I bring them down and I zoom in as close as I possibly can. So I'm going to outline the neck part of my croquis. So I don't like how that line's going. You can use your finger. You can use that little special pens that they give us for the iPad. So I start outlining my croquis. Again, you make sure I do his neck and his shoulder. Okay. I do the arm, but I get a little outlining in. And I want to show you what that looks like. So once I've done outlining, okay, if I go to the far right up and I find the one that says image layer, I double click on that and it takes away my croquis. So now you see what lines you're left with, what I just sketched. So if I wasn't happy with that, I could go back and I could delete or erase or, you know, take away things that I didn't want. I can take them all away. If I was happy, I'm fine. So now I have this um, outlining done for my croquis. Now I wanna add some color. So I choose my paintbrush, I like the flow. I'm gonna put them on a peach shirt. 
So I use my brush and I start painting down. Now, as you can see, it's really, really thick. So you can change your size of that. And so then now, okay, that's, that's okay. So I start painting in my brush as I see fit. Okay, once I do that, see, I can take away my croquis again and I can see what I'm left with. Okay, so this is one project that I've already started. So I've already started painting him and outlining him. And this is what he looks like without my croquis, which is right here. And you can zoom in and edit and start changing those things. But that's what it looks like without my croquis. If I put it back, that's what it looks like with. Here's another project that I've done. Um, this is without the croquis, so you can see here, zoom in so you guys can see that a little better, zoom in, but these are also picture, um, done, and this is without the croquis, and if I add the croquis so you guys can see the difference, so this is with the croquis, double tap, that's without the croquis, so that's how you use Adobe Photo Sketch to sketch some of your projects. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know and I will help you any way I possibly can. It's a fun program to, to, to play with. The other programs work exactly the same, but you guys have a great fashion day. See you next time.